All right. You know what? I think this is going to be a heck of a lot of fun. I mean, I haven't even um, read the rules properly, but um, just based on watching the video, also, to be honest with you, oh gosh, I can't rem uh It's going to be nice to uh, hammer the person's uh, um, handle name or whatever uh, for YouTube into my head. Uh, the person that's uh, playing with his girlfriend and they're up to turn 12 for crying out loud. Um, and like I said, there's like a ton of videos about this. Anyways, um, I'm seeing, like I said, I haven't even finished reading the rules. Not even close. Um, but I did do a quick read up on sea combat. And I think I'm making the right move. Uh, at first I was thinking, geez, you know, uh, hold on here. Let's get to, I got to grab my reading glasses. So if you see here for the mobilizer, so that's the points. And at first, later on, I was like, well, maybe you shouldn't be buying a battleship. You should be getting a cruiser. You can save three points for the Austro-Hungarians. Or maybe you should get two submarines. Um, no, I think right now, what uh, I'm, I think it's a good idea to get the battleship. Just due to the, if I'm going to go that route, which it seems to be. Uh, I'll take a look at what uh, people voted, but it was swaying towards um, Italian focus for the Austro-Hungarians. Um is that battleships can take two hits before having to be removed. Everybody else, uh, it's one, uh, and they have to be removed. So if a cruiser takes one hit, I lose nine points. Uh, that's a lot. Um, and uh, I can repair. Uh, so anybody can re repair their, I mean, obviously it costs points to repair, but still, that's better than uh, nothing. Uh, so what I'm thinking also to do, and, uh, so, and I'm like, oh my god, even for the replayability about switching sides, uh, you know, having almost like, if you wanted to do it like the Der Weltkrieg um, uh, alternate alternate uh, one that uh, he suggests where um, uh, the rule systems uh, suggest where you, you start with uh, France and Germany as being the, uh, the primary belligerents and then they trade off uh, picking sides and then you go that way. I mean, there's so many different ways to go about this. <clears throat> oh my god and it was funny earlier on in my little delusional land there i was like oh this this could be turning into a new britannia another classic and oh my god i'm just like you just shut up anyways what i'm thinking about doing um about the coordination and this could, and all uh, yet again that's when i got into the britannia thing it's the sequence of play since it's set that's going to be huge i mean you can start making some moves and making another player panic and so on and so forth so what I would like to do, uh, because the Ottomans moved just before the Italians, so um, the Austro so the, the Italians are going to see what's going on and, and have to start figuring out. And if they're coordinating, which I'm going to do uh, with the Allies, uh, the, um, the other Allied uh, partners, is what to, uh, you know, how are they going to deal with it? So what I'd like to do is get the Ottomans over here um, and start... the start spending points um, developing their navy as well not a, and uh, start focusing towards trying to take uh, the Mediterranean see if that causes and even on a side note maybe not even use them uh, I found out that uh, you can actually just put them in their enemy zones and don't even have to engage in combat uh, which is oh I really like this uh, this bit about uh, you know against the land combat uh, thing and like I said I haven't even finished reading the rules yet um, what would this do towards the Allies bit? Would that cause them to now focus uh, more attention um, towards having to put more of their Navy into the Mediterranean to offset what's going on here? And if that's the case, then the other side can start to pounce. Oh my, it's just, uh, and yet again, this is supposedly a little uh, simple game. I'm Like I said, I haven't read the rules yet, so maybe it is. But uh, I'm thinking, geez, if I can see this little, uh, these little bits of um, strategy and so on and so forth, this seems pretty neat. Um, okay. Um, oh, I've been pretty herky-jerky. So uh, hold on here. I'm gonna, so you can see the sequence of play here. I'll move the money out of the way. So I went um, um, top down, left to right. And I'm using the counters there. So what I'll do is I'll just, uh, like, for example, like right now it's turn one. It's the Austro-Hungarian's turn. So their marker will be removed from the, the box. Especially the way I'm playing it so serialized. But you can see, so here's the sequence of play. So it's going to be really important uh, as far as I'm concerned. Austro-Hungary goes first. Russia, Germany, France. Um, then the British Empire. Then the Ottomans. Then Italy. 
um, and then optionally the United States. I think it said after turn four, they're in. Uh, they're in for sure. Uh, but if the Germans before then, I think, do something about unrestricted re uh, submarine. Like I said, I still need to read. Um, but boy, this is looking pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I will not be doing videos every freaking five seconds. Like I said, it was supposedly like, oh, no more videos. I'm going to you know, do about coming. I'm having a fun time, man. And uh, so that's that. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take a look. But I think if that's the, the way to go, um, that'll be the focus. I don't know how to make the moves and whatnot. We'll go from there. But uh, I'll keep you posted. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, I hope you're having a great time. I'll see you later.